One of the easiest ways to get sales on TikTok shop is to find quality affiliates that can promote your products for you. Just a few quality affiliates can be the difference between a few sales a day or literally hundreds. Now, hands down, one of the coolest things about TikTok's e-commerce ecosystem is that they've built an affiliate marketing program that connects e-com sellers like you and me to content creators and content pages that already have the audience that would be interested in our products. And there's now a mutual incentive to sell these products, right? Shop owners get sales and affiliates get commission and another way to monetize their audience with related products. It's literally revolutionized e-commerce for the better. But lots of people seem to be having trouble finding quality affiliates to promote their products. So how can we get these pages to agree to spend their time creating videos to sell our products. So the first thing that you should do is go after the low hanging fruit. It takes about five seconds and it's all upside with zero extra effort. And that's to enable the open collaboration on all the products that you have. I'd also think about toggling on the auto add products button too. That way, if you add any more future products, they automatically qualify and they're automatically allowed to be promoted by other affiliates. This is going to allow your products to be discoverable and linkable when affiliates are looking through the product marketplace for specific products to promote in their niche, it's a no-brainer. Now, you also need to decide what commission rate you wanna offer and whether or not you'll auto-approve pages or if they'll need to request approval to promote your products and whether or not you'll give out free samples of your products to these pages so that they can then receive them and make their own UGC content. Now, I definitely recommend going with auto-approve for all affiliates. Otherwise, creators that apply are often onto promoting the next product that did auto approve them and yours is now an afterthought. Trust me, I know from personal experience on both sides of the spectrum. Now, when setting your commission for this, I'd recommend at least 20%, but you can even go up to 30% or more if you can afford it. And this can differ from product to product based on your specific margin on each, right? It doesn't have to be universal across all products. The reason being is if you can afford this much cut in your profit margin, you should give it away to affiliates, especially in the beginning, because you'll attract more affiliates affiliates, you'll attract higher quality affiliates, and you'll be getting more feedback on products that people actually want versus which ones they don't a lot faster without you having to put effort in to sell them. And even if you're only making like a dollar or 50 cents, for example, after all of this, you should still do it in my opinion, especially in the beginning, because it doesn't cost you any extra time for them to make these sales. And you'll see then what products are working, which will then allow you to invest more time, more money into those, make more videos, find more affiliates for those specific products, and you'll get that much needed social proof on your product landing page. So future buyers can now convert at a higher rate than they did before. For instance, there have been some products on TikTok shop that I've looked at from the buyer's perspective when they give out free claim coupons for creators from the affiliate side. And I'm hesitant to actually click and buy those products when there's no ratings yet because they look a little sketchy. So I know that customers are actually thinking the same thing as well. Now, on the contrary, if they're there's dozens or even hundreds of ratings already on a listing, I probably wouldn't even think twice. Social proof matters a lot and a high commission is one of the easiest ways to get that fast by enticing pages to promote our products simply because they'll make a higher commission than if they sell most other products. As for free samples, this is also a case by case basis and it can differ from product to product as well. It'll most likely depend on how much money you're willing to spend to try and launch a new product as well as how much each product costs specifically, right? Right? For example, with my own shop, I have a $15 product that sells pretty consistently and I'm perfectly okay giving that out as a free sample each time because it only costs me $15 each time. And I get the upside then of a new potential affiliate that might promote my product and make exponential future sales without any more time spent on my part. But on the contrary, I do have another product that sells for almost 140 and I'm not giving out free samples for that one, obviously, because it would cost me $140 every single time to give a sample. So it's a case by case basis and take it product to product. And obviously there's no promise that somebody that you send a sample to is gonna then make sales for you, but that's why you always check and you look at things like their following. Is their following high? Is it engaged? Is it a good product market fit for their specific niche, right? And also look at the track 
track record on how much they've sold previously. What are their earnings per thousand views? That is a crucial metric. So obviously the higher the better, but anything that's half decent will do. And one thing that you'll notice is if you actually start promoting products from the affiliate side as well, if you do receive a free sample, but then you don't create a video on that product, you're actually less likely to get free samples in the future and other sellers in TikTok can see that. So don't worry if you're giving out free samples because there is actually an incentive for these pages to then create a video after they get it. Now, once you set this up and you start making some sales on your own, your product will then start to get more visibility in the product marketplace since TikTok's seeing that it's actually getting some sales. And that means that you'll actually start receiving some free sample requests now. They can happen right off the bat without any sales, but it's not likely. And if you're not getting a lot of requests in the beginning, that's totally normal. As you start selling more and more, you'll get more visibility and your products will become more discoverable on the marketplace. Now, the last method to get affiliates is probably gonna be the most effective way for beginners with newer shops to actually get these quality affiliates to sell for them. And that's to reach out directly to other pages. Again, TikTok makes this super easy and they actually allow you to search and find influencers and pages within your niche through the target collaboration tab right below that. And they literally show you the stats and the contact information for all these pages too, so that when you reach out, they get directly notified and that's pretty cool. Now, more on how I succeed doing this and how you can too here in a second, but that leads me into the main point that I wanna make on this and that's that you need to be able to persuade people with your words. Getting good at communicating what's in it for the other person is a skill that you must have as a business owner, but especially as an e-commerce seller and just like as a successful person in general. You need to understand this to create good converting product listings. You need to understand this to create good scripts that are effective videos that will sell your products. I need to understand this to communicate with potential customers that might be on the fence. Otherwise, you're missing out on a ton of easy sales from already warm leads that could have been customers. But you don't need to worry about that anymore with the sponsor of today's video, Como. Now, Como is a messenger-based sales CRM with a ton of features that can help sellers like you and me automate automatically turn these interested viewers into paying customers. This can help all of you out there with link Shopify stores because it integrates directly within your store, but you can also run it on your store's Instagram page as well, or within your email too, for any customer interactions that might happen there. It gives you an automated chat that will turn potential customers on your site into buyers by providing insightful information if they have a specific product question or swaying an on the fence buyer with info on how it can help solve their problem or save them time or money. And it does a great job with all of this so you don't have to master it yourself. Now think of this as your automated salesman, but not like a pushy salesman onto your customers. It's actually one that helps your customers and shows them how your products can benefit them. It also helps you handle the high volume of chats that you'll get when one of your products really starts to take off, which if you've linked your store to TikTok and you've seen this happen, you'll know that it happens almost overnight and it can overwhelm you if you're not ready for it. But it also allows you to send messages and emails to thousands of customers at once to announce specific timed offers or any sales that you might be running. And this software offers a completely free 14 day trial, which includes all the automations and all the other additional features as well. Plus there's no need to enter your credit card information when you register either. You can try it out completely free through the first link in the description. And messaging potential affiliates to sell your products is a very similar approach too. In short, tell them what's in it for them. But to do this effectively, Effectively, this is what works for me. Keep in mind, because you're cold DMing here, you need to make sure that the page is still a good product market fit, obviously, because no page or no influencer in the right mind is gonna wanna make videos on products that their followers aren't interested in and don't match their niche. I'm honestly amazed on all my affiliate pages, all the random promotions I get offered that don't match up at all. I'm obviously not gonna take them. And even if I did promote them, chances are my viewers wouldn't buy them anyway. Now, the second thing is a high commission to entice them to actually make the video. And again, I always recommend anywhere from 20 to 30% if you can, but anything more than that is obviously ideal too. You'll also want to offer a risk-free sample for them so that they're enticed to receive it and then make the actual video. And then if they like it, they can make videos on it. But again, no pressure that will allow them the lowest amount of friction to saying yes. Plus it'll allow you to get your foot in the door and build that seller affiliate relationship with them for potential future related products too. Now, I typically start off with something like this when I'm cold DMing. So I'll say 
say something like, hey, I love what you're doing with, and then enter the name of the page there, obviously. I'll keep it short and direct out of respect for your time. I have, and then insert the product that you have there, obviously. So I have blank that your followers would love. I'd love to send you a free sample so you can check it out with no strings attached. And if you think your audience might also be interested in it, then I'd love to pay you to promote it with a few videos. And then I'll honestly just leave it at that and wait. Now this template typically gets a decent amount of responses compared to other ones because people one, want to know what the related product is and how they can get a free one. But two, and most importantly, they want to know what pay them to promote it means. So they typically respond. And then once they respond, they're already more invested at this point. So then at that point, you can send them the free sample and make your affiliate partner pitch. And make sure to explain how they might make $10 or $15 commission for whatever sale they make. And a key thing to do here is always keep it simple when you're explaining it to them, right? Don't make them overthink it. Don't add friction. Don't tell them that they can earn a specific percentage. Tell them in layman's terms, hey, if you make a sale, you will earn X, whatever the dollar amount is that they'll make when they make a sale. So it's easier for them to quantify how much money they'll make. So that's how I get affiliates to promote my products on TikTok. I have a unique perspective of it, I'd like to think, because I not only sell from the TikTok shop side and DM affiliates myself, but I also have several affiliate pages that sell other people's products as well. So I see it from both sides, but I really hope this helps.